Hey there, YouTubers, right? Quick BIOS overview. Gigabyte B660DS3H AC D4 motherboard. Now, you may have seen previous at a micro ATX version, okay? This is the full size. And that one I didn't have Wi Fi. Got the most current BIOS version F21 as of December 18, 2022. Uh, eventually, I'll do the other kind of BIOS update with this, which uh, this is the location you go in to do that. I have done the BIOS update where you don't need a CPU, GPU. Great for those that want 13th gen Intel, all right? Because you don't have a 12th gen. You don't need a 12th gen to update the BIOS. RAM, we have four 8-gig sticks in here. And XMP is currently disabled. We want to enable that. I did not check to see if this is uh, compatible. And I'll show you what you do if it is not. All right. CPU temp. I have an ID cooling 280 millimeter AIO on here. Water cooler. Uh, I think it's Frostflow X. So you see that temp in here. You see all this other information. Boot sequence. We do have two drives on here. So, and they both have uh, windows. So we could change the sequence. Graphics card in there. RTX 3050. So you see PCIe 4.0. And interesting enough, I'm not sure why I didn't stick that in... Uh, this first slot, but I'm looking at it like, what was I thinking? Um, M.2s, so we see these two. One of them happens to be a uh, Samsung 980 Pro, NVMe 4.0 or Gen 4. These are the fans on the radiator. And there's two of them split, but they're, uh, you see what the RPMs are, and then this is the pump itself. All right, moving on to advanced mode. So we'll just kind of open up some of these menus and make sure you guys see everything. I'm not necessarily going to talk about everything, but so XMP. Now, if uh, let's say. 3600 doesn't work. Maybe some slower speed will work. So you'd come in here and punch that in. And we'll just go ahead and do that right now. I'm going to make it 3000. So you see that there, okay? Um, but now, if 3600 doesn't work and you drop back, you can slowly work your way back up to 3600 or go south right try some of these other speeds so we'll put it back at that so we go into here you can see memory timing stuff you may have to pause your screen folks if you want some of these details and I think that started over Oops. Trying to get down one there. Open this up so you guys can see that. Alright, let's jump over to settings. That's what you see in there. I'm not going to open all these. Um, it's not really that exciting. But this is where how you shut off that app center, download, and install. I'm going to go ahead and disable mine. Actually, so you would disable it after you update it. Um, we, haven't, we haven't updated it yet, so we'll leave it. Sorry. Trusted computing. This is how you see. I'm trying to think of where it is in here. GPM 2.0.
Okay, that's where you would uh, hit it for Windows 11, but it's on auto, so it doesn't appear it matters. We saw we have Windows 11 if you saw the other videos. PC health status. System info. There's another place to update the uh, BIOS as well as over here. Boot. Another place to update your uh, boot priority if you wanted to. Eventually, yeah, I should have the 980D Pro as my uh, operating system. Windows 10 feature. And then we would save and exit. So let's see if this supports 3600 megahertz. Now I always tell everybody, hey, check the manufacturer's website under support. Uh, you will be able to find compatibility and, and memory compatibility. And if you do that, then you shouldn't have issues right off the bat. So this RAM is taking a little bit of time to get going. There we go. Looks like it's going to be okay though because it would have never done that. And let's just check one thing. In here, 3600 megahertz. All right. Thanks for checking out the video. Please like. Thank you.